Hi, David Cox here from East Coast Hearing. Well, here in front of me on the table, I've got a few sets of hearing aids. These are the uh, Signia Pure 312 hearing aids. Um, they, uh, they run on a 312 battery, that's the battery size. So at the base of the hearing aid, if we open up the battery compartment, there's a, a 312 battery here, okay? Over here, we have the uh, Signia Pure Charge and Go hearing aids. Uh, it's a rechargeable hearing aid. Uh, it's got a built-in lithium ion battery, so there's no compartment to open up there. Uh, at the end of the day, when you're finished wearing it, you slide the hearing aid back into the charger and it charges up while you sleep. In between, we have uh, a remote control. So this remote control uh, can control the, uh, the Signia products. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little remote, fairly simple to use. Uh, on the remote, we have a plus, which would turn up the volume of the hearing aids, a minus that would turn down the volume. Uh, in between, there's a program button with a P written on it. That would allow people to change uh, to different programs. So everybody would have a universal program on their hearing aids, but people might have a music program that they could access by hitting the, the P. They might have a, a program for noisy environments to cut down on background noise, maybe a, a program to pick up a TV streamer uh, to bring the, the sound of the TV directly through the hearing aids. You can have numerous programs uh, that you can access with that program button. So that's in between. On the side of the remote is a on-off or a locking switch, okay? When you push it up into the on position, the buttons become active. When you lock it or turn it off, when you press buttons or hit buttons, uh, nothing happens uh, with the hearing aids, okay? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to pair the remote to the hearing aids, okay? Uh, when we, we talk about it being paired to the hearing aids, what it means is once this remote is paired to these hearing aids, it would only control these hearing aids. Or if I pair it to these hearing aids, it would only control these hearing aids. So that if you're out in public and you're using your remote, you're not gonna be adjusting people's hearing aids around you if they have a similar product. They're, they're matched to the specific hearing aids or paired, okay? So to start the pairing process, um, we want to make sure that the remote is turned off, okay? So the, the switch is locked or down. So we'll begin that way. Now, let's start with the battery operated version. So I would take the, the hearing aid out of the, out of the case here. If I was wearing it, I'd take it off my ear and I'm gonna turn the hearing aid off and then I'm gonna turn it back on. To do that, we open the battery compartment. That's how you turn most hearing aids off. You open the battery compartment and then to turn it back on, we're gonna close it all the way. I'll put that one down. I'm gonna do the same to the other one. So if you had two hearing aids, you gotta make sure you, you pair your remote to both of them. Turn off the hearing aid, opening the battery compartment. Turn it back on, put it down. Hearing aids take about four or five seconds to, act, to activate once they've, uh, you know, the battery door is closed. So we give it a few seconds there. I'll go ahead and pick up the remote. So what I'm gonna do, Again, the remote starts in the off position. I'm gonna put my finger on the program button, the P, and I'm gonna pin it down. Now, while it's pinned down, I'm gonna turn the remote on, okay? And I keep my finger pinned down on that, uh, that program button. After a few seconds, let go, okay? Now what we're gonna do, we're going to carefully, without pressing any buttons, bring the remote close to the hearing aids. I'm gonna press the P button and pin it down for about five seconds. So. One, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna let go of it. And without pressing any other buttons there, just carefully, I'm gonna turn the remote off, okay? Now I have paired the remote to the hearing aids, okay? To double check, what you can do is put the hearing aids in your ears so you can hear what's going on, and as you press some of the buttons, you should hear indicating tones come through the hearing aids, letting you know that when you go ahead and press buttons here, that it's, it, it's making changes to the hearing aid, okay? Um, so I'm gonna put these aside. I'm gonna go through the same process with our rechargeable, the, the Signia Charge and Go product, okay? So again, we start with the remote in the off position. Now, let's assume you were wearing the hearing aids, okay? Uh, if you were wearing them, they're turned on, okay? So to turn these hearing aids off, there, there's a few ways you can do it, but the easiest way is to put them back in the charger, okay? So to turn them off, put them in the charger and leave them for about five seconds because they, they take a little bit of time to shut off and begin to charge. So we'll, we'll leave them roughly five seconds. We know they're off now. Let's 
take them off the charger and just set them down on the table here. And we're gonna give them another five seconds to turn back on. So one, two, three, four, five. Same process as with the other ones. Take the remote, hold down the program button. Remote's in the off position. Hold down the program button. Now turn the remote on. Keep it pinned down a few seconds. Let go of the P button there. Now, bring the remote close to the hearing aids and pin down that program, the button with the P on it, for about five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, let go, and then shut the remote off, okay? Now, to double check, again, that the, the hearing aids and remote have paired, if you put the hearing aids in your ears, and then you turn the remote on, and you start hitting some of the buttons, like the volume up, or down, you'll hear the hearing aids adjusting in your ear. You'll hear little clicks and, and beeps, knowing that you've, you've paired the remote. Now, normally in the clinic, before you go home, we will pair, if, if you have a mini pocket, we will pair your remote to your hearing aids. It's possible for them to become unpaired, and that's why I'm showing you this video. The way that they become unpaired is when people are wearing their hearing aids and they maybe take the remote out of their pocket, it's in the off position, and they, they wanna change the program. So they hold down the P, then they realize, oh, it didn't work, my remote is off. And while they're still holding down the program button, they turn on the remote. They've accidentally unpaired the remote from the hearing aids. Uh, and unfortunately, it's, it's a little bit too simple to do that. Um, so the, the process I showed you of repairing it will correct that problem. If you find you frequently make that mistake, that you take your remote out, you, you hold down the P button to change your program and you turn the remote on, then you realize, oh, I've, I've unpaired my remote and now I have to go through that process again. My recommendation would be just never turn your remote off. Just leave it in the on or unlocked position. You're not gonna waste battery power. Uh, you might accidentally turn up or down your volume uh, if you bump the button, but it's not gonna happen very often, okay? So there you have it. That's how we, uh, we can pair our Signia hearing aids to our Signia mini pocket. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks for tuning in.